Tonight, the CEO of a well-known charity says it may have to close its doors for good and soon. Hosea Helps has served Metro Atlanta for about 45 years, best known for outreach during the holidays. And Channel 2's Nefertiti Jacques live in downtown Atlanta. Neff, new building owners are doubling the rent, they say. Justin, according to the CEO, they were going to buy the buildings themselves, but the new owners paid $600,000 in cash. So now the group is being told that they have to pay $8,000 in rent a month or get out. And if the organization does have to close, it will affect the thousands of people that they serve, including the homeless people who sleep here behind me along Pine Street. My father's goal was to give the hopeless hope and to help those who felt like they weren't good enough. Hosea Helps has provided assistance to needy families in Atlanta's homeless community for nearly 50 years, and now the organization may be homeless. It hit me in my stomach like somebody had punched me. That gut-wrenching feeling came when Elizabeth Omilami got a letter saying she must pay double the rent she pays now or move out by July 1st. Never thought it would happen to us. She never thought the organization her dad built from the ground up would ever close. People will suffer. The group helps serve thousands of people every year during Thanksgiving, Christmas, King Day, and Easter. They also give year round. They pack boxes like these boxes with food, toiletries, and baby formula. He said, there is power in the poor. Elizabeth took over the organization, which was started by her father, Hosea Williams, when he died in 2000. My father was here today. I think that he. He might be disappointed. Disappointed because the organization, which has been housed at the Southwest Atlanta warehouse for the last 26 years, must move out in six weeks. And if they can't find a new home, they will have to close their doors indefinitely. So the worst case scenario is more suffering, more poverty, and less love. Now, Elizabeth says she's hoping that the community will step up and help her so she can keep the organization running. The group has now started a GoFundMe page, and they're taking donations. If you want more information on that, you can always head over to our website, WSBTV.com. We're live in downtown Atlanta. Now, for TD Jack Channel 2, Action News, Night Beat. Well